In Tehran, fists and voices raised, not against the regime, but in support, choreographed by a government stung by mass protests all week. This march called for those protesters to be executed. They're supported from abroad, she says, thugs and bad people. An army statement promised to confront these enemies, hinting at a crackdown similar to one three years ago that killed hundreds of protesters. Now there have been days of protests across the country, sparked by the death of a 22-year-old after she was arrested by Iran's so-called morality police. Masa Amini was accused of not wearing her hijab properly. Her death set off angry protests, remarkable since Iran's ayatollahs have allowed no real dissent to their rigid Islamic rule in almost half a century. Now there's support around the world. Outcries and placards in Winnipeg tonight. An Iranian expat cutting her hair in protest in Istanbul. At the UN, Iran's president, Ebrahim Raisi, said the West should pay more attention to women's suffering in their own countries. The Islamic Republic of Iran rejects some of the double standards of some governments vis-a-vis -vis human rights. After meeting with Raisi, the UN Secretary General delivered a warning. We call on security forces from, to refrain from using unnecessary and disproportionate force. An escalation that's all too possible, given the most serious threat to Iran's leadership in years. Sasha Petrosek, CBC News, Toronto.